Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're back with some more Gran Turismo Sport on the uh, PlayStation 4. More sport mode. Uh, so today we are taking on the Group 2s at Sard Sardinia, is it? Uh, Road Track B. So uh, let's crack on with the races and see how we get on. Right, so here we go with the first race. We actually managed to qualify in seventh place, which is pretty good for me. Um, so, hopefully this goes okay, but we shall see. So we start off just trying to stay in the slipstream of Pirate Vert in front of us. Heading down to turn one. And I'm too early on the power, get it a little bit sideways, but not too bad. <coughs> it's not like uh, like I spun the car or anything, but I was close to it. I thought that Cobra he was going to take me out then. Somebody off at the side of the road there, so we're up to six. Which is a bit unusual for me to be this high up. And maybe I shouldn't have been starting on the medium tyres um, with me being this high up the grid. Maybe I should have started on the softs. I don't know. But uh, quite, a, quite an interesting little layout, this. Um, I don't really know it very well, but, you know, I started to quite enjoy it and we're off the road. And... We're almost spinning into the pit lane. <laughs> right, so we move ahead to lap two. And we've got a group of cars behind us, which I'm presuming are all on soft tyres. Making an absolute mess of that corner. Uh, like I say, I'm not... I haven't driven this circuit that much, to be honest. So, And we're getting attacked by two of them here. But we somehow managed to hold the position. We managed to pull away a little tiny bit there. But not really, because they're right on me again. And I thought that was a bit rude at the time. And this was very rude. Oh, dear. <laughs> Not a good start. And we get respawned. I'm now 17. Right, so lap number 10. We managed to crawl our way back up to 13th through uh, people making pit stops. We've already made ours. It's on the back of Cobrati. There's a guy spinning there, so we're up to 11th now. Which is pretty good, and he he just tries to... I don't know, maybe he missed his breaking point, but then he gives me a little shove again. Uh, which was, yeah, not pleasant. But we managed to pull away, we're in 11th. Right, final lap, 11th place. Somebody off there, so we grab 10th. Which, to be honest, is more than I thought I was going to get after I was spinning earlier on. So we're just making our way. I'm not really expecting to catch the guy in front because the, uh, the soft tyres have given me the best. Um, so... You know, I think it's uh, pretty much 10th place if we can just hold on to the line. We're coming round the last couple of corners and, uh, and then that will be it. So, not the best race to start with, uh, but 10th. We lost a little tiny bit of DR, but not really. You know, it wasn't 
as bad as it could have been. Right then, so race number two. We're starting seventh again. Hopefully this one goes a lot better, but we shall see. And away we go. So I'm just trying to warm my tyres a little bit, but I doubt that's really helping. Uh, we take it steady through this turn this time, so we don't go sideways. And like I said in race one, I think I should have really been in, on the soft tyres in the first stint, really. Uh, with me starting this high up. See, because I'm used to starting close to the back, it's like, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm used to starting on the harder tyre. So maybe I should give that a shot next time. Um, if, I, if I manage to start this high up again. Right, there's a guy off at the side there. So we're up to sixth place, which isn't too bad. These two are fighting in front of me, and I'm kind of just hoping they can fight a bit more. Because I've got a feeling they're on the softer tyre. We're just sort of hanging on to him here. But I'm not really catching because he's got the slip of the guy in front of him, so it's, uh, it's pretty close. And he gets wide spins. There's somebody else spinning. Fourth place. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Right, so we skip ahead to lap four. Still in fourth place. But we've got guys catching me that I'm sure are on the softer tyre. So it's kind of like inevitable they're going to overtake me. And I sort of, I was maybe a bit too... Uh, too easy letting him pass. I should have maybe defended a bit harder, but... I was just thinking, he's probably on the softer tyre. Just let him go. So we're just um, just motoring along here, just trying to hold our own, really. Right, sixth place we're down to now. Oh, no, fifth. No, the game will make its mind up. And we've got crazy train here. Give me a little bump, but it wasn't... You know, at the time I thought it was a bit rude, but I'd, I'd, looking at it now, I don't think so. And I believe Crazy Train is actually on the same tyre as me, but he's he's definitely a lot faster than I am. We're almost going wide there using all the track. We decide coming for a stop now uh, to try and help the soft tyres last a little bit better towards the end. And there we go, coming out the pits in 12th place. That's not too bad because I think a lot of people haven't pitted yet. So uh, we'll see what happens as things progress. So lap eight, we've got cart cart behind us. And I just decide let him pass, and then I could tuck into his slipstream and hopefully get the move. We're now in seventh, which isn't too bad. I 
And at this point, I am defending quite a bit more than I was earlier in the race. Uh, because, you know, I'm into the sort of back end of the race now and I'm trying to hold where I am. We're managing to hold him off so far. But for how much longer can I do it? But we're already uh, higher up than we was in race one, so... And we've still got quite a few laps to go. And he thinks about it in the GTR behind me, but... And here he gets the uh, run on the outside, and I, I felt that was quite rude, actually. <laughs> but, ah, well, it happens. It's not over yet. Still quite a few more laps to go. What I'm kind of hoping is that my soft tyres, because I put them on later, will uh, will last longer. But this corner here is awful. You have to really hold on before you get on the power, otherwise you'll just uh, go round. And I'm a bit wide there. This isn't great. Not the right line into there either. So we skip ahead to lap 12 now. And uh, the two guys in front of me are starting to battle with each other quite a lot. Which is allowing me to uh, close back up on them. So this is good news for us. Because the more they fight with each other, the closer I'm getting. And maybe can have a, a, a chance of getting seventh back. Maybe even sixth. We'll see. And they are really fighting. And I think Cart Cart there, he slowed down to let the other guy pass. And I was like, thank you very much. <laughs> Up into sixth place. Pull away a little bit. But not massively. And my tyres are pretty bad by now. I was lucky to get away with a penalty there. Uh, I thought I was going to get one. And at this point, I'm like, right, this is the final lap. And I'm weaving a little bit to try and break the slipstream. But it's not really going to work, but... I managed to hold them off into turn one, which was where I thought they was going to get me. It was pretty tidy through here, um, but they are right on the back of me. Uh, so I'm going to have to defend a lot to try and keep them from overtaking me and try and secure sixth position. And I'm just trying to back him up a little bit, hoping that the guy behind him will start attacking him, but it's not going to be enough. He's got up the inside of me. And here, he gives me a little bump, and that allows me to just shove it down the inside. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite an opportunistic move, that. But we finished the race in sixth, which I was really happy with that, to be honest. Right then, so, uh, as you can see, we gained a little bit of DR today uh, with that final race finishing in six, so that's great. Uh, that's really good. Uh, anyway, that concludes today's video. Many thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. Click the little bell next to it to be notified next time I'm live streaming or when I upload new videos. If you like what I do, then please consider becoming a channel member. It helps out the channel massively and you get some custom emotes to use while I'm live streaming. Uh, so take it easy, stay safe, and I shall catch up with you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.